Alright lads, here we go with today's video. Today we are doing an Atlanta Hawks at Danilio Gallinari rebuild. Danilo? Danilio. Danilio. Danilo. Gallinari Atlanta Hawks rebuild. Yes, that's what we're doing today. We're doing another one because free agency is still going on, by the way. It's free agency is still going on. And there are a lot of moves that I have not covered on video. So, there's going to be plenty more to come. Before I get around to doing challenges and stuff, I will do it eventually. It's just for now, I'm doing focus on these rebuilds at the moment because, you know what, I'm interested about them. Before we get too far on the video though, please be sure to go down there and subscribe. If you're new, it'll be absolutely amazing. We've absolutely been smashing it lately and I appreciate every single one of you guys that have come along to the channel and, uh, you know, subscribe, like videos, all that type of stuff. By the way, like the video if you haven't. Go down there, like the video. Uh, I really do appreciate every single one of you. So please go down there, subscribe, like the video, all that type of stuff. So yeah, like I said, Danilo Gallinari has been signed by the Atlanta Hawks, uh, who, who, which is somewhat a team that I think would fit Danilo Gallinari very, very well. I mean, defensively, not that great, but shooting-wise, spaces out the floor perfectly for Trey Young, John Collins, and Clint Capella. You know, absolutely smashed it out the park there. Also, you're picking up on Yako Okongwu as well. It's kind of like an Onyeka Okongwu Atlanta Hawks rebuild it as well, you know? Probably not going to be entitled in thumbnail, but Gallinari on Onyeka, we're going to see what they can do. Sadly for DeAndre Hunter, that means he's going to be coming off of the bench. Uh, same with Cam Reddish and all that. So, I'm actually, actually, real quick, real quick, real quick, mate. Cam Reddish, if we play him at the two, his overall does go down a bit. I kind of, I'm going to send him down to the G League for this first season. Uh, hopefully, he progresses for us into someone that we can definitely use. Bruno Fernando, if we, yeah, he signed for two years. We'll send him down there as well. And I don't know what else we could do here. Like, we could, or we could maybe do that with DeAndre Hunter as well. Uh, but I don't really want to do that too much. Rotation-wise, we got Trey Young, Kevin Herter, Gallinari, John Collins, and Clint Capella as the starting five. We have Nyaka, Yondre Hunter, uh, Scala, BCA, Damian Jones, and Bembry coming off the bench. Trey Young, first scoring options. Second is probably Gallo, and then third is John Collins. And uh, you know what? We'll stick with a balanced system. We're probably not going to be doing projected to do too well this season, although we do have Trey Young, so you never know what's going to happen. Recently, Trey Young's been putting up MVP-type stats in 2K. Speaking of Trey Young, here's an... All-Star starter. All right, that's dope, but the, the, he's the only Atlanta Hawk to make the All-Star team. We finish off the season with a 56 and 26 record. LeBron James wins himself MVP. LaMelo, Rookie of the Year. And uh, yeah, we don't win any awards there. Trey Young, All-NBA First Team. That's crazy. What, what, what type of stats was he putting up? Let's have a look. He put up 35, 11, 1 steal a game. Jeepers, mate. Gee whiz, they, they, they really need to fix that bloke. They really need to flick, fix Trey Young's tendencies, man. I swear. Gallo put up 21, 4, and 2.5 on about a steal a game as well. 17, 8, and 1.2 for John Collins. And then everyone else off the bench kind of underperformed, you know? Offensively, we're the fourth best team. I'm guessing our defense was pretty shocking. Like, yeah, we're the 12th worst uh, defense and uh, our differential was fourth best. So, you never know. We are taking on the Toronto Raptors here in the first round and we make it past them, the Miami Heat in the second round and we get beaten in the second round by the Miami Heat. That's all right. Our team is extremely, extremely inexperienced. The Lakers are the champions with LeBron James winning finals MB. Hey, so the Atlanta Hawks do not have a lottery pick this year. I guess that's something to be proud of, you know? Considering they've been in the lottery for so long, it's something to be proud of. Uh, assistant GM, Michael Williams. You always get yourself Michael Williams. If Just a little handy little tip there. On the trade market, Bruno Fernando and Mays. We could move up to the 15th pick. That could kind of be worth it, you know, getting to the 15th pick. What pick do we have? 27. We can get to the 15th plus a Jetty Oseman, or we can go to 11. That could also help us out a lot. Uh, 23 and Gary Harris. It does give us some defense at the shooting guard position, but or we could free up some cap. Either way, I kind of want to keep Bruno Fernando. I kind of do want to keep Bruno Fernando, so if we can find a way... You know what, then? I'm all right. I'll just draft at 27 then, see what we can do. We end up with Keon Johnson, who's a shooting guard slasher. He probably he plays a little bit of defense. Uh, we'll sign him up. Trey Young, Reddish, Herder, and Hunter, all three, all four of them coming back, bro. Uh, Bembry, if he wants to come back. Scal, if he wants to come back. Uh, John Collins, I do want to re-sign also. Depends on how much cap we have. Giannis, you want to you wanna come play for the Atlanta Hawks, buddy? You do. Huh. Huh. Gallinari, we have to re-sign also. 
and probably that's the only one that I really want to re-sign, to be honest with you. I mean, I do want to re-sign John Collins, but we do have a qualifying offer on him, so we can match anything that he gets offered, and we'll just make sure that he isn't getting offered anything, so we can try and sign Giannis. Um, he's still good, we're still good, and we get Giannis onto the Kumpo, and we no longer have rights on John Collins, which it's alright, it's fine, we just sign Giannis. I mean, I'd let John Collins walk for Giannis onto the Kumpo, you know? I would. So we've got Trey Young. Oh, we need backup. We need proper shooting guards here because Kevin Herter is probably a backup shooting guard in my eyes. Gallinari with Cam Reddish. We could probably start Cam Reddish at the two, you know. We got power forwards and we got center. So shooting guards, what can we afford? Wes Matthews, he's going to regress. Langston Galloway. We'll sign up Langston Galloway. He could probably do a, a something for us, I guess. Damian Jones, we could afford to bring him back onto the team, so I'll take it. Uh, what else can we afford? Anyone else wanting a little bit more money that we can afford? No? Okay. Langston Galloway, Herder, and Damian Jones can get us Kelly Oubre. I just realized if we get Damian, if we got Damian Jones back, oh, well, back, yeah, we did get him back. We can move him to the power forward. His value is going to go up, so we pair him with Kevin Herder. Can we get someone kind of decent here? We can get Thomas Bryant for the first. We'll use that, and then Thomas Bryant, we can move to the power forward, use him to trade with... DeAndre, oh not DeAndre Hunter, Langston Galloway, and we should be able to get ourselves a very decent shooting guard. Marcus Smart, that is definitely a very decent shooting guard. Very, Brook Lopez and DiVincenzo, that's decent also. Any other shooting guards being offered up? I might just take Marcus Smart here, or Seth Curry. Aaron Naismith, we don't need a small forward lad, but we'll probably, you know what, I don't want to give up a first round pick for it though. I mean, that's not a bad deal value wise. I'll take it for value. That's the only reason I took it. It's because then we can trade Mitchell Robinson, Rui Hachimura, and this whole, our first next year. And we could probably get ourselves... Uh, we can get ourselves Co Colin Sexton to come off the bet. Now, he's probably going to be our starting shooting guard, mate. We're good. Three training camps. We're going to go perimeter defense to both of our uh, backcourt players here because they're... Then they're not exactly the best defensively, and then we'll go untapped potential to Danilo Gallinari just to see if he can progress for us. So yeah, they, they want to start Reddish at the three and bring Gallo off the bat. No, not today, mate. Not not happening. Not happening, bro. Sorry. If there was any other rebuild, I'd let I'd let you do that, Reddish, but not today. We got Isaac Okoro, by the way. Since when? Oh, we got him with we got him with Colin Sexton, didn't we? So because we need a guard off the bench, Dejounte Murray is going to be the best bet. We do have. Cam Reddish, who is going to be coming off the bench, uh, so we stop, we're good at forward. Uh, Vassal, I might be pairing with someone else to come off of our bench. I don't know, because I mean we don't need another small forward. That's the thing. So Vassal will pair with Keon Johnson, I guess, and we could maybe get ourselves Duncan Robinson. Not what we need though. Jackson Haynes to come off the bench as a backup center. I don't mind that at all. Jackson Haynes, you're going to be our backup center, lad. We should be A-OK. -okay. So, yeah, rotation here for this second season. Trey Young, Colin Sexton, Gallinari, Giannis, and Clint Capella starting five. We then have DeJounte Murray, Cam Reddish, Onyeka Okongwu, and Jackson Haynes coming off of our bench. We have Giannis, Trey, and Gallinari as our three scoring options. We're going to run a four-star, seven-second system, and we are the projected five seed. So, let's see what happens. Hopefully, we get to the finals this year. Now... For this second season, we have two All-Stars in Giannis Antetokounmpo and Trey Young. I don't see Gallinari, which is upsetting, but it's it's okay. We've got two All-Stars, mate. We win 67 games. We went 67 and 15. Luca wins himself MVP. Do we win any awards here? We get Coach of the Year with Lloyd Pierce. We get Giannis All-NBA first team. We get Trey Young All-NBA third team, but that is it. We finish as a one seed in the West Eastern Conference. They want to start Cam Reddish. I mean, you go ahead, mate. Right ahead. 24, 11, and 7 for Giannis. 23, 2, and 10 for Trey Young. 18, 4, and 2 for Gallinari. 16, 1, and 4 for Sexton. 12, 4, and 6 for DeJounte. That's like very good numbers, you know. That was like very, very good numbers. Offensively, we were the fourth best team. Our defense was the best in the league, and our differential was the best in the league. Our defense being number one in the league, that's surprising. I mean, we do have Giannis, but we also have Trey Young, mate, and Colin Sexton in our backcourt. Like, we're, we're stuffed, right? Oh, my God. We made. By the way, without drawing any attention to it, we're, we're in the NBA Finals <laughs> against Ja Morant, Jaron Jackson, Andre Drummond. Okay, they have a pretty dang good team. We're up 2-0, and we sweep right past them, and uh, Giannis wins Finals MVP. So, we've already run a, won a championship. 
So I'll try not to change up this team too much, because, you know, we've just won a championship. We don't need to change it up. Uh, but we'll see if we can go back to back. Um, so I did make a few set changes. We changed Colin Sexton for Chris Middleton. Okay, that, that's that's the main thing we swapped, all right? And then Middleton's got to play the three, Reg plays the two. That's what I'm going to swap. So we're going to be playing Trey Young, Chris Middleton, Gallinari, Giannis, and Clint Capella as the starting five. We then have Onyeko Okongwu, DeJounte, Cam Reddish, and Jackson Haynes. Coming off of the bench, Giannis, Trey, and Gallinari are our three scoring options. We're going to be running a seven-second system, and we are the projected one seed. Let's see how we do for this final season. Once again, Giannis is an all-star captain. We also have Trey Young as an all-star starter. Uh, but we have no one else. That's all right. Trey Young and Giannis are our two main men. Trey Young wins himself MVP, putting up only 28, 12, and 1. Decent. All right. We went 65 and 17, and uh, we get Coach of the Year. Jackson Haynes actually wins Most Improved Player as well. So we did a We got two players, all NBA first team. Bang. That's how we do. Finish as a one seed in the Eastern Conference. That's pretty dang Beautiful, I want to start Cam Reddish and uh, Chris Middleton, sure thing. 28, 2 and 12 for Trey Young, 21, 11 and 6 for Giannis, 15, 3 and 5 for Middleton, 14, 4 and 2 for Cam Reddish. Nice. Gallinari only put up 10, 1 and 1. That's okay, but he, he is 34. All right, he does the, he, he, he's, he's allowed to regress. Offensively, we're the best team. Defensively, we weren't the best team anymore. We were seventh best, but our differential made up for it. We were the best in the league. So you guys can't see this first round. It's all right. We're just going to get past Philadelphia in six games. We then got the Magic in the second round. Sweet past those guys. The Celtics have added Chris Paul. So they got rid of Kemba Walker. And they've added Cody Zeller, Jabari Parker. Okay. RJ Barrett, by the way. They've changed their team up quite a bit. Doesn't matter. We sweep past them. Now we're taking on the Mavericks, who have added Monte Morris. OG Ananobi. I like that OG Ananobi pickup for the Mavs. Like, if they could do that in real life, that'd be pretty dope. Pazingas, outside of those guys, they don't really have a whole lot. But it is Luka Doncic, and 2K loves itself a little bit of Luka Doncic. Just got to chuck it out there. <laughs> By the way, this is a really close game, and uh, I'm just going to jump in. and I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm, oh, I might as well. You know what? I'm allowed one jump in a video. I'll jump in and play some games, okay? All right. Here we go. We don't have the ball, so we're going to play some defense. Some lockdown defense here with Trey Young. You know what? Tra oh, no. Okay. Okay. We got Cam Reddish on Luca, who just pulls up for three and sinks it because it's Luca. 2K loves itself some Luca magic, you know? Let me give you some Trey Young magic, though, hey? I'll give you some Trey Young magic. Ooh, ooh. Nope. That's definitely not it. That's not it for sure. We get the board, at least. We get the board. Ooh, ooh. They are guarding Trey Young like a crazy, crazy, crazy person, but that's all right. We'll get the easy two. We'll take the easy two over the three, okay? Because if they mess up, we can take the lead. Luca has 59 points in an NBA Finals game. Holy shit, man. Why are you fouling? Shock. Mm, okay, fine. Fine. We're going to probably have to go to a ga game. Game six. This could potentially be ending tonight, lads. This could be ending this game. If he misses this free... No, he didn't miss that free throw. So... If we hit a three, we're in the lead. But if we hit a two, we tie it up. I don't know what I want to do yet. I think I might go for the two. No, I'll go for the, I might go for the, It depends. If there's a wide open three or a wide open two, I'll take it. All right, I'll take it. Either way, I am going to go to Chris Middleton here for first up. Can we... Uh, yes. Can we get a screen up here for me? Thanks. Thank you. Bucket. Bucket. We just took the lead. Trey Young absolutely smashed it. All right, we're going to let them bring it up the court. Oh, this is close. I don't want them to make this shot. They only have to make a two and they've won. They only have to make a two and they have won the game. Uh oh, oh my God. We just won the NBA championship. We just back to back, boys. Why wasn't Giannis on the court? But back to back. Banged it, lads. We smashed that. We smashed it. NBA champion Atlanta Hawks. Giannis wins finals MVP. Get in there, lads. Get in there. So, yeah, we definitely had a championship team. We actually went back to back, but I guess that's what happens when you have Giannis and Trey Young on the same team. And a bench that was deeper than bloody the hole of... A deep hole, yes. But, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that type of stuff. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that. Help show support for the channel. It would mean the world to me if you guys could go down there, subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. But, lads, that's going to do it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.